Howdy y'all, welcome back to another exciting episode of Science with Mr. Jacobs. I'm Mr. Jacobs, this is Science, and today we are going to be focusing on how energy flows in an ecosystem. Now, in any ecosystem on Earth, all energy comes from one place. It always starts from the sun. That is where all energy on our planet comes from. It doesn't matter if it's in the ocean, it doesn't matter if it's on the land. All energy originates from the sun. Now the sun, we're going to use the plains ecosystem, does a really good job of sending its energy in the form of radiation. When the sun sends its energy in the form of radiation, we're calling this sunlight, that sunlight gets taken in to a plant or a producer. Got a little tulip there. So it takes in the sunlight, it mixes that inside of its chloroplast with a thing called water and carbon dioxide. And when a plant gets sunlight, water, and carbon, it ends up releasing oxygen and it creates a glucose or a sugar molecule for itself to grow. That sugar molecule or that glucose that the, that the plant makes for itself. That's the energy. That's the stuff we're looking at. Now, because the plant photosynthesized, that means it had to have done work, and when anything does work, it gives off heat. There's actually a rule called the 10% rule, and that 10% rule talking about energy states that plants and animals, when they consume energy and they use it, throughout their daily use of just like hunting, repairing their bodies, photosynthesizing, living, 90% of the energy that they take in gets burned off as heat. 90% of it gets released as heat. That leaves only 10%, which is where the rule gets its name from, to be transferred on up to the next organism that eats that plant. So in this case, we're going to go with a little a rabbit. I know in previous videos, uh, I've been hated on for my rabbits. I appreciate those of you that uh, are kind enough to understand I am not an art teacher. I am just doing my best as a science teacher trying to make things fun for us. Um, I do try to get better uh, slowly as the year goes on. Um, and I think we did a little bit better job on this bunny than maybe I have in some of my previous uh, episodes of Science with Mr. Jacobs. So eventually, that bunny does bunny things, and while that bunny is doing bunny things, like it's using energy, it's taking that energy that is used by consuming the plant. Again, we got about 10% of that energy. And as the bunny goes around and does bunny things, that energy, you guessed it, gets released as heat. And then the other place that it can go is that it can go on up to our next level consumer, and on up to the next level consumer. And again, when those things uh, use the energy, it's gonna be released as heat. So at the end of the day, energy, once it gets used, it gets released as heat. And that's why energy flows in an ecosystem and it doesn't cycle. Because again, a cycle would mean it gets restarted over like matter. But energy, once it's used, it's released as heat or it gets transferred on up where again, it will eventually be used and released as heat. I hope you guys learned something uh, today. And I hope that this video provides you with all the learning uh, that you needed. Once again, I'm Mr. Jacobs. This is science. You guys rock.